One of our weirdo family members sent this one in, and they only wanted to share their first name for credit. It's titled Something Above Us, written by Norman. When I was around 10 or 11 years old, I went on a road trip with my mother, her close friend, and her daughter. Jenny, the daughter, and I were about the same age. We grew up together and were childhood friends. My mother and her mother were close friends, and that's how we met. I used to go to her house after school and watch TV, play video games, go swimming in her pool while our mothers caught up to chat and have coffee. I remember one day my mother told me, we're going on a trip with Jenny, and I was pretty excited about the news. The trip was from Cairns to Townsville, which was around a four-hour drive in far north Queensland. We were going to stay the night with some friends of my mother's. I slept for most of the drive and remember being woken up by Jenny. We're here! We're here! I remember looking through the front windscreen of the car from the back seat. I saw a driveway leading to a very modern-looking house with large trees to the side and behind it. We got out of the car and made our way inside the house. I didn't know anyone who lived there, I was introduced to a couple who had a daughter around the same age as us and also a baby. That night our parents all went out for dinner. Jenny and I stayed home to watch movies with our new friend and to also babysit the baby. It was getting late and we all decided to go to bed. I was woken up by a terrified Jenny. She was freaking out and couldn't keep still. She seemed to have lost all composure. There's something above us, she told me. I wasn't fully awake when she told me. I sat up on my bed and wiped my eyes to try and understand what she was really saying. When I gathered myself, I was in shock. What I felt and saw was nothing I've ever experienced in my life. The room I was sleeping in was shaking like a small earthquake, but it seemed to be vibrating rather than shaking. We both were too scared to leave the bedroom. We laid on the floor and hid beside the bed away from the window could hear a buzzing sound. We could feel the buzzing sound through our bodies. The buzzing came and went in intervals. When the buzzing got louder, we saw a light outside illuminating the backyard like it was daytime. Jenny and I both saw it and were puzzled. It must have been around 11 p.m. at night. When the buzzing went quiet, the light disappeared and it was nighttime again. This happened for quite some time, we had enough. We both ran out of the bedroom to try and find the other girl and the baby. When we opened the door, we could see the living room. There was a window next to the front door overlooking the front yard. What we saw was the most frightening thing ever. We were standing right in between our bedroom and the front door window just across from the living room. We noticed that when the buzzing sound got quiet from our bedroom and the blinding light was gone, it actually went from the backyard to the front yard. It was like the front yard was daytime and the backyard was nighttime, and it kept on switching back and forth along with the very disabling buzzing sound going through our bodies. We didn't believe our own eyes. We went to the other room where the girl was sleeping in. She was crying and didn't know what was happening. She was worried about the baby in the other room. All three of us went to the baby's room to make sure the baby was safe. We opened the door to the room and couldn't believe our eyes. The baby's cot was swinging back and forth by itself, and the baby was crying. We were frozen with fear. Then we all lost time. I woke up in bed, it was the next morning, and I couldn't remember the moments after I went into the baby's room. I could still remember the buzzing sound and the blinding light shining over the yard. Jenny and I didn't tell our parents about what happened. We were too shocked and we couldn't describe exactly what happened that night. We went outside to the backyard to see if we could see any changes or any signs of what happened. As we were walking around, we saw the lawn was burnt. It was a black circle and the green grass had turned brown and dry to the touch. We were freaking out. We knew something happened and it wasn't just our imagination or some dream. The house next door was being built and basically was a construction site. It had the walls up, but only the framework. After we checked the backyard, we decided to go and have a closer look at the construction site next door. There was a weird feeling coming from this site. We thought maybe there could be some evidence from what happened last night, somewhere here in this half-built house. We started walking towards the house, and then I stopped. I saw something run from behind a wall to another wall. We ran back to our house as fast as we could. I didn't look back. It looked like a small human, skinny and white, no clothes on. 
Jenny and I never really talked about this as we got older. I'm 35 now, and I will never forget that night that we had something above us.